One of my roles at Mr. Pest Controller is being the, the franchisor. Um, what is that? That's, your, that's the local um, select and support person to make sure that you in business are going really well, helping out with the, the technical side of things and you know, making sure that you're on track. So that person who directly looks after you or is you know, responsible for looking after your welfare as a franchisee and making sure you're on track. The more successful franchisees have two identifiable pieces. One of them is the technical ability, one of them is the, that customer focus. The reality is, out of those two, we can teach most guys as long as they have an ability to learn. So you, f you can forget the technical. So if you've come from nothing as far as a technical background, we'll eventually get you there or we'll make an assessment as to whether we can get you there. So what we're really looking for are guys that are customer focused, that relationship focus. So, you know, you might have been selling shoes, you might have been working at a KFC or a McDonald's or something like that. Um, you might have been a middle manager, good with those relationships. They're the guys that do extremely well in our business, that can form a relationship, do what, you know, what's expected from a customer service point of view. Um, so we're really looking for the guys that have a customer service focus. With all due respect, uh, we can teach the rest of it. So it's really those guys that are really successful in our business and making the big money. In the pest control world, there are some external courses. With all due respect, they're built to working with a company that has employees and somebody supervising. So you can't just do that course and then expect to be a great business person. So what can you expect as a franchisee at uh, Mr. Pest Controller? You can expect that ongoing, so that, that initial training, which varies per guy, depending on whether they've come from the industry or they're brand new, varies anywhere from sort of four to eight weeks. And that, you know, that is a paid, that's a paid format, but at the end of the day, that's time on the road, learning environments both online and offline, uh, but that practical approach with our, our head trainer or, our, you know, or your local franchise or uh, in the field. So it's really important that we get you up to speed and we give you all the skill set initially. Then the ongoing is getting together with your fellow franchisees at least on a quarterly basis, um, speaking through you know the different social media outlets that we have, you know, shared jobs, interesting things, different ways of approaching jobs. We have ongoing professional development so that that anywhere from suppliers coming in to update you on their products through to question and answers at a local level so that we're all on the same page and our approach is, uh, is a uniform one. And obviously from a franchising point of view we have an annual conference as well where we get together with all of the brands, share the gold because there's a lot of things that actually intermingle between the franchises that, you know, that can advantage every franchisee in the field. What we want to do in that environment is identify the gold and then you know, share that amongst all of the franchisees. So it, Training is uh, it is structured, but it's an ongoing basis. We continue to learn, uh, and even our you know, even Darren, our head trainer, says after you know 25 years plus in the industry, every day he continues to learn. And if you keep that mindset, it's, you know that's that's how we structure Mr. Pest Controller. It's an ongoing process, um, as much as there is a structured, you know, first year and ongoing from there. Yeah, so that's stepped process. So we normally have a discussion on the phone. We like to show um, the prospective franchisee the ins and outs of our business. We have a, uh, a system that essentially does all of the booking, does all of the invoicing. So we like to get guys on on a Zoom meeting and or in you know face to face and show them the ins and outs of the system, show them what we make, show them how many jobs come through the door, show them how we generate those jobs, what happens when that job comes in. So once we've got to that point, we want to make sure they're going to be a good fit. We want to put our hand on heart and make sure that they are going to be great with, with relationships. We can teach them in the field. Outside of that, we typically get a guy on the road to give them that first-hand coal face experience to make sure it's the right fit for them. Uh, so once we've been through that, then we start with the formal process of training, which is a combination of uh, marketing, you know, that relationship-based skill set, technical, which is a which is a fairly drawn-out process, but the technical process, um, learning how the system works and so on. Uh, so yeah, it is a pretty pretty stepped out process, but yeah, be prepared to take your time and get all the information that you need.